So in the comments of a previous video, someone asked me to show my livestock area, basically where my chickens and ducks and so forth are. I only live on, I only have like 0.25 on an acre, or a quarter of an acre. So where the chickens and ducks are, it's not much of a spot. But I'll show you basically what I have. The coops, the chickens, the ducks, the turkeys, and yeah. So basically my chicken and duck area are in this spot over here. So I have t like kind of three sections to the yard. I got this area, this upper area, which is like fruit trees, the pond, um, patio area. But then over here is where the ducks and chickens are. And then over there is where the garden and my aquaponic system is. So I have my three bin compost system. If I do make my compost bin attached to the greenhouse and it works at heating it, I might just take this one off. But this is the area they have. It's a good amount of space for them, but ideally I would want something bigger. But then again, I'd probably have more animals then. So we have both chickens and ducks. We got many different kinds of chickens. And then we have Muscovy ducks. We'll feed them in these containers. This will be their water. Still need to put some new water for today. And then when it's warm out, we put some water in that uh, kitty pool for them. These ducks don't really need a big area to swim. It's uh, nice for them, but they don't need like a pond or something like other ducks. So that's something we give them just extra. And we also have a rabbit in here. Right now we took him out since there's a heat wave. So we put him inside the house. And here we have the chicken coop. We have actually two chicken coops. This is the first one we built, where we originally had all the birds, pheasants, chuckers, quails, all that kind of stuff, doves, pigeons, parakeets in there. But then we built this one to make it a little easier for us to travel. It's not big enough though for all the chickens and ducks we have. It might be fine for the chickens, but to have the ducks in here, it's not because the male will kind of abuse the females. That's the new one we made. So basically these boards here are just to protect it from raccoons and stuff pulling at the chickens. Multiple spots for laying eggs. So this spot and that spot over there is like the main spot they go in. Just because it's a little more protected, especially during the winter they go in there just to protect themselves from the cold and all that kind of stuff. What do you think you're doing? Look at this guy's neck. You got this little one over here. Oh, here's another guy. These guys are funny. Watch, if you pick up the shovel, They'll follow you everywhere. They think the shovel equals worms. And then they also got this area to go in here. I'm trying to talk here, come on. Jeez. <laughs> and then they have this area to go in at night too to just keep warmer. That's pretty much the chicken coop though. What we have now, that's how that one looks. We still need to make it more waterproof at the top since it still leaks sometimes during the winter. So I might use a pond liner to stick up on top later on since that would work quite well. And then right now we have over in this area, just the turkeys. Ideally we would want them to run around, but one, the female will fly away, and two, they get diseases from the chickens, which is unfortunate. 
So you have this big guy here. Oh. These are white midget turkeys. Here's the male. And then the female is just locked up in here right now since she just had some eggs or some chicks. Well, she's sitting on them. She hisses whenever you come in here. But yeah, this was the previous coop where we had pretty much all the birds and stuff in. And then now this is the turkey area. So it is covered though. Because they will fly out. We got a loquat tree here. But that's pretty much the area they have. Which is alright, but not ideal. So we are actually not going to keep them. We're trying to find some good homes for these guys. Someone who's going to keep them. Because they do make a lot of noise. We did use, we used to have a lot of roosters here, but recently someone complained. So we're kind of nervous. We don't want someone to come here and say we have too many chickens because, well, we do for the area. Camera shy. <laughs> Come on, buddy, turn around. Well, that's pretty much all for that video. It was just showing you the livestock area or the chicken and duck area I have at my home. So it's a good size, but for what we like, we would want to get something bigger. But it would be kind of hard to move since I have the pond, the greenhouse already set up. But I do find a good, if we do find something good, I don't mind. Or maybe when I get enough money. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Just a brief video on the setup we have for our chickens and ducks and so forth. So if you have any questions or comments, remember to leave them below. And if you haven't done so already, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.